This is the story of a young man named Peer Gint. Peer lived in Norway, a beautiful faraway country where the tall mountains are covered with ice and the coastline has deep harbors of water so blue it reflects the snow-capped peaks above like beautiful mirrors. Peer Gint, everyone agreed, was a handsome young man. Everyone also agreed that Peer had a bad habit of telling stories stories that were simply not true. When he grew up, Pierre had decided he would marry a very beautiful girl just his own age. Her name was Solvi. Though she liked Pierre very much, Solvig told him he would have to learn to tell the truth or else they could never marry and be happy. Why, no one ever knew if Pierre were telling the truth, not even his own mother. Someday, Solvig said to Pierre, you'll tell a story that will get you in very serious trouble. But Pierre just laughed. He didn't know how true those words of Solvig's were. One evening, as Pierre was walking along, he thought to himself, I am clever. I am handsome. I can say just what I please. Pierre thought so much about what a clever fellow he was that he forgot to watch where he was going, and he lost his way. He walked and walked and walked, trying to find his way out of the dark forest, for night was falling. Very tired, he finally lay down near a big cave. sound, but he fell asleep, not knowing that what he had heard came from deep within the mountain cave. It was the noise of the troll people, strange little creatures who were afraid of the sun and came out only after dark. He awoke for a moment, then he fell into a deep sleep. He could hear the trolls no longer. Though Pierre could not hear them, the trolls heard Pierre, and they waited until they were sure he was sound asleep. Very slowly, softly, they crept out of the cave. The trolls quickly formed a circle around Pierre. Then quietly the trolls carried the sleeping Pierre far underground to the dark hall of the mountain king. Pierre awoke. He was surrounded by trolls, and there, sitting on a huge throne, Pierre saw the largest and ugliest of them all, the king of the trolls. thought to himself, I will tell these people I am a very important prince. They will be frightened and they will let me go. So, acting very bravely, Pierre told the ugly trolls that he was Prince Pierre Gint, son of the King of Norway. Even though Pierre was not a prince, the King of the Trolls believed the story and he said, I was going to let you go. But since you are a prince, you will make a fitting husband for my daughter. Then Pierre saw the troll princess. She had hair like seaweed, long sharp teeth, and big pointed ears. I'm no prince, Pierre shouted. I was only telling a story. And he started to run. But now the angry trolls wouldn't believe Pierre. They chased him through the cave, screaming after him. as fast as he could. If I ever get out, I'll never tell another story. Never, never. Pierre ran. It was hard to 
see in the dark. He ran faster and faster. A troll caught his leg. Pierre shook loose. There was a guard. Pierre bowled him over. He was almost free. He dived for the entrance and rolled out of the cave. He was safe.